like I said, I just want to grow old and do the things I love and be able to go on a 10 mile hike or, you know, and, and I'm not saying that I can do it without training because I have to say, I would, I, I love to, to train, to do something, but I just want to be able to live my best life. Hello, and welcome to the Art of Living Well podcast. I'm Stephanie May Potter, and I'm here with my co-host, Marnie Dotches marmet We created the Art of Living Well podcast to empower you to live your happiest, healthiest, and most authentic life. Each week, we will bring you inspiring and motivating conversations covering health and wellness topics, including fitness, mindset, food, travel, product reviews, and strategies from a variety of experts, including our own bank of knowledge. We are excited to educate, motivate, and inspire you to change the way you perceive health and discover your art of living well. Get ready to feel inspired. Hi, everyone. We are here with Janice today for our health transformation audit, where we guide our our guest to identify what's holding them back from their ideal health and wellness. And then we analyze with you so you can walk away with a tangible action step. And we're so excited to have you today, Janice. And just a call out to our listeners that if you're interested in coming on the show and being a guest for a health transformation audit, you can click the link in our show notes. You can go to our website and sign up. We would love to have you. It's anonymous aside from your name. And we've coached so many people over the years, and we just love these kinds of episodes. So thank you, Janice, for joining us. And listeners, grab your favorite beverage, get cozy, and let's tune in today. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Shield Your Body. Shield Your Body is a company that makes products to shield your body against electromagnetic frequency, or EMF radiation, from modern technology. Did you know that all modern technology is a source of EMF radiation? Cell phones, laptops, Wi-Fi, even your refrigerator is a source of EMF radiation. And each year, we are exposed to more and more EMFs. There are literally thousands of high quality peer reviewed scientific studies demonstrating clear links between exposure to EMF radiation and a wide range of negative health effects from anxiety and infertility to sleep disruption and cancer. Fortunately, there are easy ways that you can reduce your EMF exposure right now that cost you absolutely nothing. After reading the Shield Your Body Guide, I stopped using my AirPods something I used daily for hours sometimes and have switched back to the old school wired headphones. And for me, after reading the Shield Your Body Guide, I really put my foot down and insisted that my kids keep their cell phones and their laptops out of their bedrooms at night while they were sleeping. And I've been working on Jordan as well. And I think after reading the guide and listening to our podcast, he has finally agreed to do that. So download your copy of a free guide at shieldyourbody.com to start improving your health right now. And be sure to check out our episode number 123 with R. Blank, CEO of Shield Your Body. All right. So Janice, the way we like to start out these episodes is just to take a minute to set your vision. So if you could look six months into the future and you had your ideal life when it comes to your health and happiness, what would it look like? And maybe what would your ideal day look like? And just in your normal life, so not necessarily like on vacation or, um, you know, on a beach or anything like that, but how would you wake up? How would you start your day? How would you end your day? Well, I feel pretty fortunate because for the most part, I live my ideal life and my ideal days. Um, I retired approximately two years ago, and I became an empty nester at the, at the same time, which is which is kind of ironic to have both those things happen at once. But it really gave me a time to carve out what I wanted to do in life. Um, I did a lot of I did a lot of homework with regards to what I wanted to do in life. So I'm really living that life. I've really kind of designed in many ways that life I'd like to live. 
But I think the the maybe the caveat of that is is I'm going to be 63 years old next month, and I my body's changing, and I've gone through menopause, and my metabolism isn't as fast as it used to be, and so it's just like learning to adjust my eating, my sleeping, which. Oftentimes my sleep is impacted because 2 a.m. seems to be my bewitching hour of waking up. For me, it's navigating my road as I'm aging and enabling me to still do all of the things that I want to do. I'm I'm physically really active. I um, take a bar class six days a week. I walk a lot. I hike. I, I ride my bike when I can. So it's just continuing on the path of living a healthy life as I grow older. So that's where I'd want to be six months from now, as well as, you know, with age. Well, congratulations, first of all, on living your best life every day and being retired. And, you know, it sounds like you are on a great path already. You do not look 62 years old. I'm shocked Uh when you just told me your age. Um, So... Sounds like you're doing an amazing job. So kudos to you. Question for you. If you want to continue on this wonderful path that you're already on, you know, longevity into your old age, what would you say would be the number one roadblock holding you back from that? Just as I get older, you know, maintaining my flexibility, maintaining my endurance, um, my friend, And I took a surf camp last summer because I was just like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do this in the maximum age is 65. Like, but so I want to just always make sure that I'm ready to take on those things that I want to do, like beyond um, the barrier of age. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And so like, I don't want, like, I would like to be like that 70 year old woman who is if I really still love to surf or bodyboard that I would still be out there. And I, and I'm, I'm physically and mentally fit to do that. Like, so I just, I just, I don't know. I think there's a lot of people with age who, who they, or they go through menopause or whatever, and they'll be, um, Oh, they, they kind of give in and they'll just say, Oh, that just happened. I'm just, I'm just going to gain 20 pounds and I'm just going to be really like chubby and happy or whatever. And I just feel like, I just don't want to be that. I just want to be that. Like I said, I just want to grow old and do the things I love and be able to go on a 10 mile hike or, you know, and, and I'm not saying that I can do it without training because I have to say I would, I, I love to, to train, to do something, but I just want to be able to live my best life. It's, I think it's really interesting too, because um, like even there's a woman in my bar class who I just found out recently passed away at age 49. And I, and I won't go into all the details, but it's just like that friendly reminder of, of life is fragile and, and living each day to its fullest, living each day without regrets. And so for me, it's living each day without regrets. It's living each day, you know, strong and healthy and, I think even being a role model to my daughters who are, you know, in their twenties, as far as like, I, I was, um, I started my, I started my whole life late. Like I had my kids at 40 and 42. Um, I retired, you know, and then, so I feel like I've done everything a little later, but I've done everything in a way that was right for me in my life. And so I'd like to be that exemplary woman to, to others. Well, like I want to be doing a surf. <laughs> yeah. I want to be doing the surf camp at sixty-one yeah. or whatever, <laughs> however old you were when you were doing it. And you, Janice, you have such a good mindset already, and it sounds like that's what you really want to activate and keep up with because you recognize from your experience with others that it's the mindset that can put you down, sort of a little bit of a spiral, or you know, like you said, just accept the fact that you're. A certain age and that's therefore you're limited you don't want to be limited by a number and you want to feel good until the day you die right and be able to do totally. all those things totally and I think even doing the 
the cleanse. Like what I loved about that was it's, it was kind of that friendly reminder of where I had gone astray. Like, um, I think it's easy like to watch your calories or, or watch what you're eating and balancing your exercise, but then it's easy to eat like the wrong foods. So for me, I think that's another thing that I would want to focus on of my cadence of meals. Like I don't love breakfast. So I've really loved the shake and the cleanse. And I've continued that, to be honest, because then I get up and I have that and I've done that instead of coffee. And I gave up coffee and it made me really happy. But just having that cadence of like how I eat my meals, not opting to eat like a big baked good in lieu of a meal. Um, And I think that's what... um, was that friendly reminder in doing the cleanse for me that I'd gotten a little bit off track. So it's easy for me to get off track. It's easy for me to get back on track, but I think it just maybe two, then a goal would be to have more of a consistent track. That's a great goal. And I think what Janice is referring to is our seven day detox when she's talking about what she called the cleanse. And um, Janice was part of our last seven day detox. And she did a phenomenal job of asking for help when she did, needed it. And really, um, it sounds like you learned so much about yourself during that process, which I love so much. Um, I love seeing that in clients. And um, I think you nailed it when you said it's really easy to get off track. And it's great then that it's easier for you now to get back on track and how to figure out a way to maybe not get off track, right? Or maybe it's intentional or mindful. You know, if you want that baked good you mentioned, maybe you're mindful about it. You're planning to eat the baked good. And then the next day you have your smoothie again in the morning. And so it doesn't feel like it's off track. It's just today, you're going to have a baked good. Totally. No, I think even just the timing of doing this cleanse and then even continuing, like, I feel like I'm going into the holidays with a really healthy mindset too. So, um, because I think it's really easy for, for people and including myself to just go, Oh, I'm going on vacation. I'm just going to throw it all aside, or it's going into the holidays. I'm just going to throw it all aside and come January. And, And I think, I just don't want to do that because I don't think that's healthy. My my dad, that's how my dad was. And I just think he just always lived his life up and down weight and health wise. And so I just feel like it's like learning how to, to navigate through, again, through vacations, through holidays, through everything at, at, a, at a, a nice, a nice even keel. Hey guys, Stephanie and I are loving this new product from Keon that we have been trying probably for like the last, I don't know, four to six weeks now. It's Keon Pure Plant-Based Amino Acids. It's a premium blend of essential amino acids in a convenient, delicious drink mix. I really like the cool lime and the mixed berry. Um, And these are fantastic for before a workout, after a workout. You feel energized. It boosts athletic recovery. It supports really lean muscle mass. Um, There's all nine essential amino acids, and there's no artificial ingredients, which we both love. When I was traveling, I didn't bring them with me, and I definitely noticed a difference. So I highly recommend trying. It's it like I said, it's great before and after your workout. Keon also has some other products, a couple we want to mention. They have mold-free coffee, which is fantastic for people that drink coffee. And they also have a great whey protein powder. My daughter has been using it in her smoothies on a daily basis. So we have a code. It's Art of Living. And you can get 10% off single products or 15% off bundles. Or 20% off a subscription, which is what I'm doing now because I'm using my amino acids pretty much every day. So go check out www.getkion.com and use the code Art of Living. And you're so right, Janice. And that's one thing that, you know, Marnie and I have talked about a little bit on the podcast 
is just enjoying the holidays, but not, you know, still thriving during the season. So you don't wake up in January and feel like, oh my gosh, I need a hundred percent reset here. And it sounds like since the detox, you're really striking that balance. You know, is there anything you want to share that's really working well for you or challenges that you've had? You know, I know you mentioned that sometimes you do get off track, you know, it's the consistency piece. I think it's, to me, it's, it's the, it's what I eat, what I drink in conjunction with exercise. So I really need to have that exercise balance as well. Um, And for me, it's good for me physically and mentally. And my exercise is, my community is a big part of my exercise. So for me, um, that community gives me the discipline to, to always to always work out. Um, so I feel grateful for that. There's other areas that I feel like, um, like I, I feel like I need to work on my creative practice. That's one of my goals for 2023 is like, so how am I more disciplined with my creative practice? Um, but it's always kind of setting goals that personally fulfill me. That's great. I love that you're doing that. And do you have an idea on how you're going to implement that creative practice? Well, I think it's it's a continuation of what you the gift you've given me in that like I've been not drinking coffee, I've been sleeping better and even sharing that with my youngest daughter. She said, "You know, gosh, I stopped drinking as much coffee and I felt like now I've been sleeping better." Like it's just mm-hmm. like I think it's just listening more to my body. Cause I think what I did through your program was it really made me listen to my body. Like I I've never done a plant-based lunch and all of a sudden I really realized, gosh, I really liked having a plant-based lunch. Um, and it's made me not resume a lot of vinegars. Like I've just made more of a simple salad dressing and my husband's actually even liked it and he didn't do the program. So it's incorporating it more into my every day so that it's not, a two week something, but it's more of a habit. And so I think I would look, I would look at what I did um, as it's creating a better habit. And then I think next time I do this, my habits will get even better or I'll be more validated. Like you're doing a really good job here. Well, and you're, you're, there's a ripple effect happening, right? Like you're mentioning your daughters, your husband, like you're making these small changes in your own life and they're rippling out to people around you, which is amazing. And like you said, you know, we have found from our experience, we, we call them our detox alum because they come back each time. It's like every time you make this small change and it does add up over time. So then the next time, you know, this time you gave up coffee and you really haven't gone back to it. Maybe next time, you know, whatever it is, maybe you're, I don't know, whatever it is you decide you want to do, but these small changes are going to continue to add up over time as you add them to your life. Well, and also like I can be, get a little lazy with my vegetables. Um, And so to me, like it was really, um, we brought a lot more vegetables back into our life. And again, my husband enjoyed it too, but it's funny, like they're just simple things that you don't often realize that you've done until you've, um, had some guidance because otherwise I would have told, if you would have asked me, I would have said, Oh no, we are, we eat healthy. And we've been, then I realized, gosh, we've really eat a lot of carbs and we've been eating more cheese. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like we need to. And so I just think for me, it was a good reminder of like how to create our meals. And, and you know what, Janice, everyone gets a little off track after, you know, you, the vacations that you mentioned and then holidays coming up. And even for Marnie and myself, we need that reset every quarter. Um, why, and that's why we're doing it because you have those habits, but life gets busy and stressful and holidays and vacations happen. And you just need a little shift to kind of align with what you truly want. And I think one of the things that you mentioned is listening to your body and community. And I think those are two big aspects of the program because you talked about the community if, with your bar class and your workouts. And that's what the detox also provides is that community and a safe space to share and time to listen to your body. Yeah, that's great. And we're glad that you 
really benefited from that and have continued on with so many of these habits. So Janice, what is one thing that you could do in the next 24 hours after just thinking about this conversation that we've had right now that would maybe take you one step closer to your goal of, you know, longevity and doing things that you love when you're in your 80s? I, I, I think I'll have to think about that for the, what I would do for the next 24 hours. I, I, I think my immediate thought is, one thing I said when I retired is I'm going to do something new every week. I don't want to become kind of complacent in my, um, my daily routines. And I want to put myself out there to, to be uncomfortable. And I, I consider myself a life learner. So mm -hmm. I think with that said, what I would do is, is, Probably, and I'll probably do this between now and the end of the year, not within 24 hours, but just identifying what are my goals for next year, you know, um, and oftentimes, like, again, I'll bucket those into like, what is a physical goal of mine that I might train for? Or what is a, like I, I mentioned my creative practice, what, what's that going to mean for me? Um, I always have a good goal of reading one book a week, because so I want to read 52 books in a year. And so wow. I think. So I think my goal would be to, again, establish a new, something new that I haven't done before. So I don't become complacent. I don't want to be, um, I don't know. I just don't want to be complacent in life. So it would be just establishing a new physical goal. That's, I mean, that's great. And it's going to help, you know, your brain too, right? You're doing something new, so that really helps with the brain function and creativity. Like you mentioned, it's so important. So, kudos for you for already, you know, kind of wanting to incorporate some creative aspects. And I really admire, life. yeah, admire all that you're doing already and thinking yes. about. Like you're being very intentional about that, and I think that's amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And I was saying, I feel like you both have become two of my best friends just through this whole process. And, <laughs> and just, I think, meeting more people that inspire me to, on this, on, to continue doing this, too, because I, I think that, um, you know, I do a lot of volunteer work as well. And someone, one of my fellow volunteers is who was interested in, in, in your program as well. Because I think it's not only do you feel better physically, but I think people see that you exude how how you feel. It, you exude how you feel. Mm -hmm. So you know, I might feel better, but I think then that is also that where people will say, "What have you been doing?" You know, you and um, and I hope that I can be the, even. An ins I know it's silly, but kind of just an inspiration just for those other women that I volunteer with or. Um, that are that other women that are aging that are just will be happy with who who they can become versus sort of just giving in to um, giving in to just be getting old and complacent and well you already are an inspiration Janet you Janice you are are an inspiration so yeah keep doing what you're doing <laughs> well thank you thank yeah. you both and thank you so much for being part of our community. Um, we love having you. Um, we appreciate you coming on the show today. We hope to see you in our upcoming January 14-day detox. Yes. And, You'll see me um, for sure. Yeah, have yeah. a great day. Okay, yeah. thank you both. Thank you, Janice. Have a Throwing great one. you the heart. Uh -huh. okay. Back at okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Art of Living Well podcast. We are so grateful that you joined us today. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend or anyone else you think may benefit from this information. We'd love for you to subscribe to our podcast, leave us a review, and tag the Art of Living Well podcast on social media. If you want more inspiration in between episodes, you can find us on social media at the Art of Living underscore well on Instagram and Facebook where we will share snippets from our daily lives and our journey to living well.